guys welcome back to my channel today I have a whopper for you so maybe put it on pause go back get a snack and a drink and then come back and watch um, I have trash to share with you today um, I have been so busy making all the other videos and stuff I haven't really noticed how much my trash bin has been piling up so I need to take care of this um, there's actually a lot of like sample stuff in there there's makeup in there and a lot of um, bath and skincare stuff as well. So, it's so big and heavy. Look at it. It's gigantic. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to kind of just try to go one by one kind of thing. And then um, we'll just talk about it and see whether or not I would repurchase it. So, my husband um, tried the Irish Spring original, um, you know, like just body wash. He didn't. I don't smell it. He says it smells like spearmint. I think he's crazy. <laughs> it smells just like Irish Spring to me, but he said that, you know, it felt moisturizing and stuff, but he wouldn't buy it again because he said it smelled like um, spearmint. But again, it just smells like Irish Spring, so I don't know. Um, my children finished a CVS version of the Act Activ Act Anti Cavity Kids. Fluoride rinse. Um, this one is bubblegum flavor. They did like this. Um, we have repurchased this, it, but we bought it in the um, Target brand because this is just, it's problematic for my kids. They're five and eight, so it's just too difficult to like measure out enough to where you get enough, but not too much. So the new one kind of has a different tip, and I'll show you because they're almost out of that one. I'll show you next time. Um, I went through a Bath and Body Works Pleasures from Fresh Vanilla Bubble Bath. Love this. Smells so amazing. Would definitely repurchase it, but they actually don't make the Fresh Vanilla anymore. They're so mean. They went to like warm sugar vanilla or something like that. So I'm a hoarder of like Bath and Body Works, so this is older packaging too. But um, I would definitely keep buying Bath and Body Works. Uh, we went through a detangling spray from Swab Kids. This one is double dutch apple, tear free, hypoallergenic, alcohol free. We will probably always go through these. I love these. It smells wonderful. It smells like apples. Really does a, yeah, just does a great job um, detangling their hair and it's cheap. So definitely would repurchase it and I have already repurchased it. Um, I splurged on my kids and got them the Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath. I was like having a flashback moment to when I used to get Mr. Bubble. Um, this is pediatrician, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, and tear free. Um, kind of expensive. Honestly, there's other bubble baths, but it's pretty because it's pink and stuff. So I might get something else and just put it in this one. Who knows? Um, but I definitely would repurchase bubble bath for my kids. Um, this is a Sani Hands for Kids Instant Sanitizing Wipes. Clinically proven more effective than gels. Kills 99.99% .99 of germs. Made with ultra soft ten tensile. This has um, the recyclable container. It's really nice because it's an on-the-go one. So it fits perfectly in your car's cup holder or anything. And I love it because it's kind of like the Clorox wipes that come out. And so when you pull one, it actually tears and pulls. So I definitely want to repurchase this. I haven't yet. I found it at um, Bed Bath & Beyond and I definitely want to go back and repurchase one. Okay, one of the next things is Neutrogena Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser visibly reduces the appearance of pores and refined skin. Alpha and Beta Hydroxy Formula with Gentle Micro Beads. So I have another one of these. I probably wouldn't repurchase them after it just because I've found something else from St. Ives that I like. Um, I'll show you when it's gone, um, or maybe it's in here, I don't know. Um, but it is very nice for like a gentle daily exfoliant. It, the beads are not too big. Um, it doesn't like feel like you're scratching up your skin. I didn't notice anything necessarily with my pores changing. Um, but I think it is a good um, exfoliator and it's definitely nice because it doesn't tear up your skin. Next couple things. <laughs> I'm just going to put them together because it's so silly. So the next couple things is shampoo, VO5, same thing as always. Uh, this time was two kiwis, one strawberries and 
cream. Oh, kiwi lime, sorry. And then one free me freesia. I love the free me freesia. It smells so good. Um, my husband, kids use it, so we will keep going through those, I'm sure. Um, my kids went through another sensitive skin body wash from CVS. This is Dove's kind of sensitive skin, but the CVS brand. I think it's great. I really, really like it. The only problem is, is that it's eight something for this, which is a good size, you know, tub. It, it is, how many ounces? 32 fluid ounces. I mean, you definitely get a lot for your money, but I think I'm going to try um, the Dove bar right now and try the sensitive skin bar instead of the wash and see if I like it better just because sometimes it's hard. It's nice because you can pump it and wash them really fast, but sometimes it's harder because they waste it and they pump it in the bath or, you know, if it falls down, it absorbs water in there. Um, another thing is Aveeno Active Naturals Eczema Therapy Moisturizing Cream Relieves Dry, Itchy, Irritated Skin um, Due to Eczema. It's steroid free, fragrance free, dermatologist recommended. Uh, this is okay. I wouldn't repurchase this. I like like the CeraVe survey. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. And um, Cetaphil. I think it's Cetaphil. I like them better. This was kind of an interesting creamy. I don't know if there's any. It's kind of like a clear cream, but it was just kind of didn't feel like it ever ever really absorbed into the skin. It kind of just felt like it kind of stayed there and kind of stayed greasy. So I didn't really like it. My daughter didn't really like it. So I wouldn't repurchase this one. And then we have uh, Wet Ones uh, Extra Gentle Cleans with Natural Moisturizing, Hypoallergenic, Fragrance Free, Alcohol Free. I carry these in my purse. I carry them in my car. My kids need wipes. It's just so easy to antibacterial them really quick. <laughs> And um, it doesn't sting or burn or anything. While we're on the subject of wipes, um, I went through a small pack of the travel size Neutrogena Makeup Forever or Makeup Removing uh, Cleansing Towelettes. I love these. They smell so good. They do leave kind of like a moisture grease feel on your skin, but it doesn't bother me because usually when I'm wiping off my face, I don't always have my moisturizer handy and if I'm washing my face after like if I'm using these for just makeup removing then I'm going to wash it off anyway so it doesn't bother me and then we went through a pack of baby wipes ultra soft from Kirkland love these we'll continue to buy them so cheap and cheerful uh, this is skin Iceland another 12 hour work day too tired to wash your face before bed this is a glacial cleansing cloth with white willow bark and cucumber extract there's 10 of them in here. We got this in the, um, was it Ipsy? I think it was Ipsy. I think so. I think it was Ipsy that we got this. Um, I really gave this a go, you guys. I've tried it so many times, but it is so rough and abrasive that it actually, like, burns my skin. I don't know what the chemical is in it, but between the roughness of the actual towelette and then the chemical that's in there, like my skin just feels like it's on fire afterwards and I like have to wash it off and put like a cooling moisturizer on. So not a fan, couldn't even finish them. There's still some in here. Um, will definitely not repurchase. A loofah, went through a loofah. Um, I went through another herbal aloe concentrate from Herbalife. This is the mango flavor. I love this stuff, tastes so good. Um, just take a couple shots throughout the day. It helps keep everything moving and going and keeps you healthy. Right now though, I made the switch to apple cider vinegar. So I'm doing that right now. I'll let you know which one I like better. But so far the apple cider vinegar has really helped to keep my family's allergies slightly under control. I know we've been sick a lot, but we haven't been doing it that long. So um, I finished this a little while ago. And then I finish, oh, I, okay, I love Michael Todd stuff. You have no idea. I love, love, love Michael Todd stuff. But this was one of those things where I had to force myself all the time to finish it because the smell of it was just so much for me. Uh, but I did finally finish it. This is a lipo, lipo some antioxidant. Um, I think it's great. It's a good moisturizer. It's, you know, moisturizes and firms, fights premature skin aging, all skin types except oily. Um, it was good. I just 
I really didn't like the smell. I know that, you know, the natural products are going to smell worse. I get that, but this really did smell bad. It just smelled like black licorice, and it was really hard for me to get through. But I got through it, and I'm glad it's done. And then, this one is Oil-Free Moisture Combination Skin from Neutrogena. Um, I didn't finish the whole thing. There's still probably like half a thing in here. I just found that even though it says for combination skin and oil-free, I think it was just too thick for my skin. So I just stopped using it and found something else. It even says won't clog pores and everything, but I just didn't like it. And then a Dove Go Fresh Body Mist Spray. This one is Rebalance Plum and Sakura Blossom Scent, a hint of moisture. Love this smell. It smells so good. I don't think I could get Oh, maybe. Ugh, it just smells clean and fresh, and I really, really like this. And then I went through, or my family and I went through baking soda and peroxide whitening oxygen bubbles from Brisk Mint from Colgate. So toothpaste. Always good to brush your teeth. Um, another VO5. This is the tea therapy one. We finished a Copper Tone Kids Broad Spectrum SPF 50 um, sunscreen, the spray one. And then I finished quite a few samples. So um, this is, where is its little friend? I don't know where its friend is right now, but it's in here somewhere. <laughs> um, this is the Matrix Biolage. This is a deluxe size sample of Exquisite Oil, Micro Oil Shampoo. I love this stuff. I definitely want to purchase a big one. It smells amazing. It makes my hair feel amazing. And for, you know, usually it's the the conditioning side that helps with your conditioner, your hair and stuff. But I'm not kidding you guys. This is just like amazing, amazing shampoo. I definitely want to purchase a full size. Love, love, love it. And I would recommend getting a sample size. Um, I went through a sample of the Makeup Forever Setting Spray. A sample of the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet uh, for sensitive skin, just a little skin sample. This one, this one smelled good. Um, it was very kind of liquidy, like uh, the L'Oreal um, Moisture Protector Vanishing something. Anyways, it was really nice. Um, it was creamy. I don't think I would buy it though, just because of the price of it. There's other moisturizers I like better. And then, um, Purity. I tried so hard to make this work, you guys. I almost finished it, but my skin just did not like this. The Purity from Philosophy, everybody loves it. Um, I have found a few forums that say the same kind of thing that I did where my skin just freaked out too much. And I know it's like detoxing it, but it just wouldn't go away. Like these little white dry bumps and they were really micro and my face felt dry. I did not like this. Um, so I will not repurchase that. I am throwing this away because it's older. This is a super glossy lip shine SPF 15 from e.l.f. It's way, way, way too sticky. It's been in the back of my drawer, and so it's just time to let it go. Uh, we went through, this is so cute. This is my daughter. She loves hedgehogs. So this is Mr. Hedgehog Orchid, or, or, Orchard, sorry, Orchard Apple. Um, antibacterial hand gel from uh, Bath and Body Works. It smells so good, you guys. This is a great um, scent if you can find this one. And then my um, mother-in-law gave me this from a talk show that she had. And I didn't like it, so I did not finish it. This is an anti-fatigue gel cream from Jafra Beauty Dynamics. It just felt weird. I didn't like it. I didn't like the feeling of it. I didn't like the smell of it, so I'm not keeping it. And then my Laura Geller brush um, for my um, Balance and Brighten. This is the one that came with it. It's so funny. This The thing popped off of it, so it doesn't really work. It's older, though, so it's okay. So it's just time to say goodbye to it, but it's like the glue came loose or something. So it's broken. Time to let it go. And let's see. Um, same thing with this NYX. Or sorry, NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. It's older. It's not that great. It's cheap, and so it works. But I am definitely not 
going to choose this over some of my other ones, so I'm letting it go. And then I finished a instant or intense fortifying mask from uh, Fakai. This was a free sample, I believe, in either the Allure Beauty Box or something like that um, of a deep uh, argon extract hair mask. Smells like vanilla. Smells so, so good. Ugh, it smells yummy. But I actually found that this was kind of not moisturizing to my hair. It kind of left my ends and kind of like from here down feeling kind of really dry and like I needed to put more moisture on afterwards. So I am going to stick with the um, macadamia nut one. I can't think of it. It's green and brown tub. Get it from Target when it's on sale. So I will not repurchase this. Um, I have a Japanese cherry blossom Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. Really, really good smell. I love this smell. Oh, I love Bath & Body Works. This smell it smells amazing. It's like a perfumey smell. So if you like perfumes, this is a good one. And then, um, where's his little friend? There's a little friend for this guy, but oh well. Uh, this is Moisture Shampoo from Herbal Naked Zero. This I received and the... Uh, in my box box. Um, I was so excited to get something for free to try. I did not like this. I didn't like the conditioner. It was really, really way too drying on my hair. Um, it smells good and I, assuming, you know, the purpose of it would work really good, it just didn't agree with my hair. So I will not purchase the whole size. Um, this is a Japanese Cherry Blossom uh, body spray from Bath & Body Works. And let's see. A loofah exfoliating scrub oatmeal and honey from Earth Therapeutics you get this from like Bed Bath & Beyond um, Marshall's has it and stuff really really scrubby if you like the bigger thicker beads that are gonna really scrub and exfoliate you this is a good one and uh, Glade plugins live out loud rose hip and plumeria love the smell of this um, this was more like a summer thing, so I don't think they have any more, but if they do, this smells really good, and I would suggest getting it for the warmers or however you like to use your air fresheners. Another one from my husband is uh, Rightguard Total Defense 5 5-in-1 five Deodorizing Hair and Body Wash. This is 18-hour protection. Let's remember the smell. Oh, this smells, this one smells really good. It's refreshing with electrolytes. Um, doesn't really have like a scent or anything. It's just a green label. I did really like this on him. It kind of leaves that lingering man cologne smell. So I really like this. He said it was moisturizing, but um, I think there was a different scent that he liked better. But the right guard itself was moisturizing for a body wash. Oh, another VO5. <laughs> this one is passion fruit smoothie. And then, oh, look. Um, we have one upstairs and downstairs, so I think that's why I went through two. But another detangling spray in Dutch Apple from Suave. Um, we went through a classic clean original deep cleansing cream uh, for Noxzema. My husband loves this. makes his face feel really moisturized. Um, definitely stock up when it's on sale because I don't think it's worth the five something that you find it sometimes. But sometimes I can find it for three something. Then it's worth it. Uh, I went through a Moroccan infusion um, with Moroccan argan oil, shine shampoo, and conditioner. I love these things. Um, right now I have the color care version of this. I can't tell you guys how much I love this shampoo and conditioner. You almost don't ever need a mask with the conditioner because it's that good. They smell amazing. They just go on amazing. I, I love them. Love, love, love them. Thank you, Suave, for coming out with this. Love it. Definitely will repurchase. Um, love this line. Okay. Uh, this is old as well. This is a Mary Kay um, loose powder. I used to sell Mary Kay a long time ago.
definitely, again, I have more powders that I would use other than this. So this little Mary Kay baby that was in the back of the drawer is going bye-bye. Okay. Um, oh, I found another Noxzema. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been like probably two months since my last trash, I think. Um, so another Noxzema. Another uh, bigger makeup remover, cleansing towelettes from Neutrogena. Love will repurchase, definitely. Oh, here's the little friend for the Herbal Essence guy. Here's the conditioner. Again, just didn't like it. Not moisturizing. And I went through, oop. I went through a Michael Todd True Organics Intensive Organic Cream Eye Treatment. I did like this. Um, right now I have the Michael Todd version of the KNU. Um, the one that's like more of like anti-aging suck up your <laughs> uh, wrinkles. But I do like it. I would recommend it. It's nice. Um, the other one is nice because it has a silver tip, which I find really cooling. Um, the plastic tip was just okay. It's just the cooling is nice because it like depops it. And then a St. Ives Blemish Control ap Apricot Scrub prevents blackheads and minimizes poor uh, oil-free salicylic acid acne medication, 100% natural exfoliants, dermatologist tested. Paraben free. Love this. This is the one I was saying that I loved more than the Neutrogena Pore um, Cleanser Microbeads. Um, I just love the way this scrubs. The microbeads feel better. Um, I will definitely repurchase this. I have another one that's like a blackhead one I think that is I have to work through first but I would definitely repurchase. And then I went through, this was a sad day because you can't even get like all of it out. It's kind of weird. You, there's no way to open it. But L'Oreal Use Code Texture Perfector Serum. I love this stuff. Makes my skin feel nice. Smells good. Goes on easily. Um, I definitely will repurchase, but I think I'm going to try the gold version, which is more of an anti-aging one, when I go back and try it. So we shall see. And then um, this was another sample, I forget where this came from, uh, Lumiere de Hivar Super Comb Prep and Protect Hair Performance Hair Care. Um, it smells really good, it was okay, you know, I didn't see anything remarkable. Uh, let's see, a little sample of Capture Total One Essential uh, Skin Boosting Serum from Dior. I love this stuff. It feels so good on your skin. It smells good. It's just really, really luxurious feeling. And I will definitely, I would love to purchase a full size. I just have so much skincare to get through first. And then I would definitely repurchase. And let's see what else is in here. This was a sad day too to see my little beautiful pink gel coat go bye bye. Strengthens and brightens. Um, this is from Perfect. Who is it from again? Perfect. I don't remember. Um, I love this stuff. It's kind of expensive. Definitely get it at QVC. You find a better deal usually than um, Sephora. Sephora does sell it, but it's thirty dollars just for one of them. Sometimes for like thirty-five dollars, you could get two of them from QVC. Definitely repurchase. I have a couple mascaras that I got rid of. Um, this uh, Be A Bombshell one, this is uh, from Ipsy. Terrible, terrible. This is the one that everybody raved about on YouTube complaining, or excuse me, not raved about, complained on YouTube about how it just smells awful. It's like a chemical smell, so terrible. Never even used, it was just way too bad. Um, this broke, I'm not sure how it broke, but it's in pieces now, but um, I have two of the Jordana Best Lash, Best Lash Extreme. I love these. These are really like holy grail status. They're cheap and cheerful. Um, definitely worth trying. So cheap. If you get rid of them because they dry out, it's only three bucks, so no big deal. And then I got rid of my Great Lash Blackest Black Mascara. I used to love the Maybelline ones like this. Um, I don't know. I think they've just changed their formula or something. I really just don't like it anymore. It's way more drying and it just doesn't do what I want for my lashes anymore. So no more pink and green tubes for me. Um, let's see. I use, oh, I'm also getting rid of the e.l.f. Lengthening and Defying Mascara. 
terrible mascara. I love e.l.f. They don't do it with mascara, so I'm getting rid of this. And then also getting rid of um, Volume Reshaping Color. Um, they're like um, lipsticks on one end and then like a primer on the other end from L'Oreal. They're just old, so don't want to keep them anymore. They're, they weren't terrible. I'm not even sure if they make them anymore. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. This one's kind of like a peachy clear. I did not finish it all the way. It's just way too sticky for me. So I am getting rid of it. And a couple lipsticks. Oh, here's another glass and a pink one. Again, same thing. Kind of gross and drying out, if you can see that. And then also, same thing, just too sticky. Um, a lipstick that's just old and sandstone from L'Oreal. It's just really old, so I'm getting rid of that one. Um, same thing with a Mary Kay one in sheer blush, just older, not really liking the frosty colors anymore, so these are both frosty, so they gotta go. And then, an NYC eyeliner, um, this is terrible, it is very sharp, um, it does not go on your skin easily, um, I, it's cheap, so it's nice, but it's terrible, I would not recommend this one at all. And it's a retractable one. Um, this is a sample of Ohan. Is it Ohan or Ojan? Um, hair oil. You, um, it comes in like ombre colors. You shake it up and then use it for a hair oil. It was nice. It is kind of expensive. Um, but, yeah, I think I like other oils better. So I probably wouldn't purchase it. But it's not because of the oil. It's just because I'm cheap and I just don't want to pay that much. <laughs> okay. And then... I have so many lip balms, you guys, so for me to go through a lip balm is huge. So I finished my Nivea Milk and Honey. I love this one. It smells so good. It's yellow. It, uh, it's moisturizing, everything. I love it. Um, I will repurchase it. I'm not going to do it now, though, because like I said, I have so many lip gloss or so many chapsticks that it's ridiculous. Let me know if you guys want to know what kind of chapsticks I have, but it's a lot. Okay. These are so sad to see go. Um, one of them I did last month for um, my invigorating night gel. And now I'm out of the Vitamin Plus um, from Ole Hendricks. This is uh, mattifying cream, balances, and regulates with oil and oat flour. Smells really good. Really moisturizing. Love the feel of it. Sad to see it go. I will definitely repurchase these um, again. They come in different bottles now, so it's kind of nice. They're pump instead of sticking your finger in. Way to go, Ole Hendricks. I love the fact that you guys changed the packaging. Um, I just need to finish some other stuff before I can buy it, but I definitely re will repurchase. And then a few last couple things. Um, I did a Makeup Forever eye look today with Artist Shadows that came um, like a free little thing from Sephora. I have them on today. I do like them. They're so nice. Um, when I get past the Christmas season and stuff, I think I'm definitely going to check out some Makeup Forever shadows because I don't have any. Um, I tried the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow uh, Powder Duo. It's okay. I really think that if I'm going to buy a powder, I really like just the Jordana ones. Um, they work fine for me. Um, I like the pencils better. So, I have this on today. Nothing against Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Nothing. It's just, for me, it's just not worth the value of it. And then I have this on today as well. Um, this is the new YSL Foundation in Fusion Ink. Um, I have Almond and Cool Honey. Uh, Almond is definitely my, was it Almond? I think it was Almond. Oops, dropping stuff. Um, yeah, Almond was my shade. Cool Honey was definitely too dark. This is luxurious, you guys. I need a full size of this. It is amazing. It feels amazing. It's so soft on the skin. It does good coverage. So I'm excited to buy one of these later when after Christmas season. Okay, I tried an Oscar Blondie Pronto Wet Instant Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. Sulfate and paraben free really really smells good. I really like these. Um, I definitely think I would purchase them in full size Just not right this moment 
uh, I tried a Carrez uh, Corsertin and Oak Anti-Aging Angel Wrinkle Face Serum. It was okay. Not worth the money to me. Um, I like some other serums like the L'Oreal one better. Uh, Cover FX Cream Concealer. I used this today. I love this. I am definitely going to buy this. Um, the medium was too dark for me. Um, so what I did is I did the light, like, because it's a little bit more yellowy, um, where I'm more um, blue. And then I just lightly did the medium. But uh, they have so many colors down here. There's 12 different shades. So I definitely would try this. I recommend it. Get a sample from it um, from Sephora. And try this. I'm going to get it. And then uh, Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Gel Salicylic Acid, all skin types. Um, love Paula's Choice. Love these salicylic acid gel um, skincare. I definitely want to get a bigger one. Just haven't yet. <laughs> um, my San Tropez Mitts, I have uh, since trashed it because it started to smell funny. Um, but you can only wash them so many times, but they're cheap to get somewhere else, like Sephora has them, um, Ulta has them, so, uh, for the self-tanning in the summer, which I'm not going to do right now, so it's okay. <laughs> and then, a uh, face, facial essence mask, lifting and forming with vitamin C from Appeal, Appeal, um, I got this from Big Lots, contains vitamin C. I'm just not big on the mask. I tried, I really did, but... They don't fit right. They're awkward. I just like the regular mask you put on yourself. So I would not repurchase this again. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is such a long video. Thank you so much if you stayed with me through the whole thing. I'm sorry I let my trash pile up so much. I just wanted to get some other videos out to you guys. But I will try not to do that again next time. It's just this Ikea trash. It's so giant. So you like, you know, fill it before you know it. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate your love and support. I hope you continue to watch and enjoy my videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe down below so you don't miss the next one. If you like beauty trash, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.